Hey everybody, this is Neo once again from the Overclocker magazine. So what I have for you today is an AIO cooler, particularly from Corsair. This one is called, this is the full name, the IQ H100i Elite Capilex or Capilex. I really don't know how to pronounce that. But anyway, I'm just going to call this the Elite Cooler. So this Elite series or generation of hydro coolers is obviously Corsair's latest. So what makes this cooler so compelling actually isn't performance. I'll get to that a bit later, but I have to state this. Performance of this cooler is what you'd expect from a premium 240mm uh, radiator-based AIO. I mean, I think we're at a point where the differences between these are so little. Like, between the best 240mm radiator cooler was, and the worst one, it's probably going to be something like 5 degrees. That just speaks to how well all these AIOs have been performing off late. But nonetheless, the best thing about this elite cooler or at least the h100 version of it is that it's actually quite affordable compared to what Corsair was offering in the previous generation and given what this actually included in this box this is probably one of the most affordable Corsair or premium Corsair coolers in a while and I know that saying that when you're looking at a price of just under 2800 rand oh by the way that 2800 is probably the cheapest price that i found locally and that's at progenix so if you are going to be looking for this cooler perhaps just check it out there as i haven't found a, a cheaper price for that so the us dollar price for this is 149 dollars which isn't bad and actually is in line with what other people are offering again premium versions of their coolers not the entry level ones so you have, for the first time, you have ML RGB fans that are actually included in the package. So obviously these are 120 millimeters and there's two of them. Now the special thing about these fans outside of just being magnetic levitation, um, they're actually RGB, Capelix or Capelix uh, LEDs. Again, I really don't know how to say that. So let me just stop butchering that name. But the thing is with those RGB LEDs, they actually look great. I mean, I don't think I've come across a brighter or more vivid LEDs. So this is for me the centerpiece of this entire thing. I mean, when you are looking, yes, you can see your two fans and the lights and the lighting sequence that you have there. But in my situation, in the case that I am using, the one thing that I can see all the time in my rig is actually the, the block. And I'm so glad that Corsair has picked this place to put 33 of these new LEDs inside there. And 33 of them actually make a difference because you can literally configure this any which way you want. Now, the cool thing about it as well is that the colors are very accurate. These colors, man, they look so, so good. If you had told me a decade ago that I'd be going crazy or rather I'd be appreciating RGB LEDs on anything, I would have told you that, mm, I don't know, you must have lost your mind or something. But here I am years later and I have to say that this is probably one of the biggest selling points to me about this cooler. It really, really does look the part. I don't know if you can see it right now on video, but in person, it looks even more stunning. Just the brightness of the colors and how clearly they come through, especially on the, on the, on the block. They just look the part. And talking about the H100i or at least the Elite series in total or together, I do appreciate the ML RGB fans. Now, in terms of how these fans perform, or how quiet or loud they are, I mean, they just seem to be standard fans. They're not really the most quiet that I've ever come across, but they're not any louder than what Corsair has offered before. So I'm pretty much okay with that. Now, where I would have an issue is actually with the pump noise. This is something that I think Corsair has not addressed, or maybe they have, I don't know. But what I can tell you is, in fact, I'm hoping to have the sound playing right now so you can actually hear what it sounds like obviously i've boosted this right but there's this little whine that you get it doesn't matter what profile that you set so you can go from extreme to to what is it quiet and balanced you are still going to get this weird whine it's not something that you will hear over the fence definitely not but just be aware of it if it is something that you had on your previous cooler from corsair just know that it's present on this one now i have no doubt that corsair has made some progress when it comes to this aspect of their coolers and the block however all that progress isn't something that i can necessarily appreciate especially when i'm gaming yes if you're running prime 95 and you are just testing for peak temperature, you're testing for the lowest idle temperature, there will be differences between all these coolers, particularly from Corsair. However, when you are playing games, there really isn't any difference because your CPU on this 
particular cooler. And by the way, I used both the 5800X and the 5600S to test this. But when you use any of those CPUs and under gaming, you're not going to get temperatures over 65 degrees, at least in the environment that I am in. And the highest temperature in gaming that I actually recorded with this cooler, with overclocked settings, was actually 65 degrees. So I've always appreciated that Corsair coolers are so easy to assemble and put together. And this remains true. In fact, it's even more so when you're using an AMD system, right? Because yes, I understand that the brackets that you, you need for an LGA 1200 or 11, whatever uh, socket from Intel, those are already pre-mounted on the cooler. But if you're going AMD, it's even easier. There are literally no screws to use literally and it's so quick it's so quick so i really do appreciate that now more than appreciating the ease with which this can be installed i actually appreciate the cable management so of course since these are rgb fans there's the rgb cable that comes from both fans and then there's obviously the cable for power right it comes from both fans so each fan has two cables but with that from the block itself you are actually going to get a cable for temperature right, for temperature reading for your motherboard. And then you're also going to get the cable for all the data and control of our IQ and so forth, which, which is a USB cable. And then you are then also going to get a power cable, right, for this entire thing. So if we count all those cables, that's at least four for the fans and three coming directly from the pump or at least related to the pump. So this Commander Core, isn't just an RGB controller, it's actually a fan controller as well, which is something I have always wanted in Corsair coolers or even cases. Now, let me tell you a little bit why I'd always wanted this. So if you imagine to yourself that you have a fancy Corsair case, you have a fancy Corsair cooler like such as this one, and they're matching PSU as well. Do you realize that with that configuration, you need at least three USB headers on your motherboard that are free? Now that's a tall order, especially if you're maybe using a micro ATX board or maybe using an even a mini ITX board. But now the inclusion of the Commander Core on the H100i Elite or the entire Elite series actually, means that that stops becoming an issue entirely. Now I can plug in, for instance, in the case that I'm using right now, there are already three RGB fans and an additional one that isn't RGB. So that's four fans in total, okay? now. This Commander Core only has supports, or rather, supports only six fans but six R and, and six RGB uh, devices as well. And I can actually get all of that commanded from a little or one unit. And that's the unit that Corsair has included in this package. It's, it literally changes the way that I've set up my system. Because instead of having multiple devices plugging into the motherboard, I just have one. I can literally reduce USB headers that I'm using. And if you have a motherboard that only has two of these USB 2 headers, then yeah, then you really should consider this. So not only is this cooler a lot more convenient, it also looks so slick. So these are the two things for me that sell this unit more than just performance. Again, performance is as good as what Corsair was putting on before, if not better. However, that difference isn't what I appreciate every day. What I do appreciate every day is the visual element or the aesthetic element of this cooler and the convenience of just having one cable go to my motherboard for all of this stuff and controlling it from a central place. So it really is in the true sense of the word, a commander, you know, um, but yeah, it's good for Corsair to put this together. And I also do appreciate the fact that they've reduced the number of cables coming from the block as well. So these are all these quality of life things that have all come together to make this the best cooler that Corsair has ever put out, at least in this range of AIOs. And kudos to them for having gone all the way to this and actually bringing it in at a price that's unusual. I don't wanna say low, no price is ever low for Corsair, but I wanna commend them on bringing this in at a reasonable price, especially if you consider what other premium coolers around this price are offering. None of them offer all this functionality and especially the aesthetic design that this cooler does. Now, would I consider buying this cooler if I didn't already have one? Yeah, for sure. But however, I would maybe go for the H115 or maybe the 150. Reason being, I just like running overclocked systems, okay? Smartly overclocked, not just 
consuming a lot of power but i really like that sort of thing however if those were not options i would be perfectly fine with the h100i it really is a fantastic cooler now are there any things about it that i'd like improved yeah of course like i said this little pump wine mm, i'm not so happy about that but again i've had it before so it's nothing new and it's nothing that's going to take me away or rather turn me off using this cooler is there anything else outside of that that i'd like to improve actually not i mean iq could always be better could always have a better user experience but it's so slick and it's it's so well presented and it looks so it looks like quality that's probably about it that i can tell you about this cooler once again it really looks brilliant it really really shines i mean those capillex or capillex leds look look awesome and i mean in the block itself they actually have 33 of them which i think is the most leds they've ever put in a block ever before and it actually does show because what you show on screen in iq is exactly what you get in in, in on the cooler itself i cannot go on enough about how good this looks and just on the looks alone i was actually sold on this so you add the performance in the commander core which tidies everything up and an unusually fair price for corsair products i think we have a winner here so let me know what you guys think about this cooler are you using one were you looking to get one what cooler are you using right now anyway this is what i have for you regarding the h100i elite capillex so let me know what you guys think about this cooler Remember to share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Take care and peace.